Hello, folks, and welcome to Beacon's Global Giveaway of a 2022 Tesla. Before we get started here, we want to make sure that everybody is well connected. We're very excited about today. The Tesla has been flying all over the world looking for a place to land. And today <laughs> we're going to find out not only where it lands, but who's the actual winner of the new Tesla. Well, we have people signing on from all over the world. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is J.R. Gonzalez, and I'm going to be your host today. Uh, the other folks on the screen, a lot of you already know and familiarize yourself with. But let me tell you how I had the opportunity to get to host this. A few of my friends have said, Jared, how lucky can you get, man, to be able to host this? I go, why you? Well, my normal answer would have been my charm and good looks. But however, since most of you are on the Beacon platform and see the high, the high quality, you know that's not true. Actually, I host a, a, a podcast. It's called the Latino Business Report. And uh, about a month ago, I got a call from one of the PR people from Beacon and said, hey, there's this new product. There's this gentleman named Angel Munoz. Would you be interested in interviewing him? Now, I get a lot of calls for different interviews. People wanted to be on my podcast. I said, sure, send me the information. I'll take a look. Well, about two or three days later, I started reading the information and I read it. I Googled. I started searching. And I said, wow, this is an amazing guy and an amazing product. Of course I wanted to be on the show. Heck, I was even thinking of renaming the show after him. That's how much I was impressed with, with what he did. <laughs> so anyway, we get we give him a call and we get uh, you know, we get um, a hell on the show. And the show went really well. And let me tell you, folks, I've had some opportunities to interview some really interesting people. During the height of the pandemic about a year and a half, two years ago, I was moderating a, uh, a webinar for Dr. Anthony Fauci. And we podcasted that. And the numbers were excellent. But actually, Angel Munoz and his Beacon product has surpassed those numbers by far. So this is one of the best one of the best rated shows my podcast has ever received. Now, in exchange for me actually doing this, I get to throw in a small little plug for my podcast. So with that said, it's the Latino Business Report. It's brought to you by TAMAC, the Texas Association of Mexican-American Chambers of Commerce. And we cover business people and issues of the day from the Latino perspective. It's, the podcast is in English. It's there available on anywhere you leave podcasts. So thank you for that opportunity. Once again, J.R. Gonzalez, and I'm going to be your host. Let me go ahead and introduce you to some of the other folks on the line. We're going to go ahead and start off with Kimberly. Kimberly is the chief um, chief marketing officer for Beacon. Kimberly, you want to say hello and introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Very excited for you all to be here. This is a great day. Uh, for us, we're, we're super excited about the opportunity to give away a Tesla and hopefully introduce uh, Beacon to uh, all of you on the call. Maybe you have some level of familiarity, but we're, we're, we're so happy that you've been able to join us today. Kimberly, you've been with this organization for a while. How long? Now, I know in the, in the pre-show, uh, Angel said that you, you joined when you were in high school. Uh, I actually kind of <laughs> believe that, but you, you've been with the company for a while, right? Um, well, I've been working with Angel on various projects for a long, long time. Let's just let's just put it that way. <laughs> if you want to look at his okay. bio, we go back, I don't know, Angel, three or four companies. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, our, our working history goes goes uh, goes back longer than his children and his son just finished medical school. So that's uh, that's as close as I'm going to get to answering that question. <laughs> okay. Well, let me tell you what. There you go. Don't want to put you on the spot, but you've had a lot of experience with the company and working with uh, with Angel, so that's great. And uh, definitely, got we're very fortunate, folks. we got the top echelon of, of the company here. Uh, the next person, we got uh, Theodore. Theodore's over there working to keep everything going on the back end. And Theodore, you joined the company right when you got out of uh, high school. Is that correct? Um, I was actually in high school while I started, um, eight, more than eight years ago. All right. Cheap labor. Good going, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're busy working, uh, Theodore, I'm not going to bother you anymore, but, uh, thank you for being, uh, being here, making on the back end, making everything work. Uh, we also have Alex. Alex is the uh, community manager. Alex, you want to tell us about yourself and what you do for the organization? So welcome, everybody, to this momentous, momentous occasion. So I'm Alex Anderson, Community Manager for G-Tribe. I joined the company back in uh, 2012, and I've been here ever since on, on this uh, epic ride with, uh, with Angel and the, this awesome team that, uh, that we have running, you know, uh, running this, uh, this whole operation. Uh, for what I do, I just... Uh, 
I manage the uh, Centurion Volunteer Program and the Anna Joe, the community. The Centurion Volunteer Program, what is that? So the Centurion Volunteer Program is a, it's a group of hand-picked individuals who, who we've chosen to, to join us to, to help the staff and help. Initially, it was designed to help for, for G-Tribe, to help G-Tribe grow, to, to help uh, with you know, people, welcome people to the community. And now with Beacon, it's, uh, our emphasis is more on Beacon and helping people get familiar with Beacon, uh, doing support, answering questions. But getting them familiar with the different ways you can use Beacon for. Like a lot of people don't know you can, you know, that you can use Beacon for gaming, for game chat. A lot of G, a lot of G tribers are gamers. That's what we are, gamers okay. and tech enthusiasts. So you can you can do, you know, a lot of people use Discord for for uh, in game in game chat. Now people are starting to use Beacon for it too. And how does how does an individual become a, a, a centurion? They basically we, we look for well they have to express email uh, message me with expressing their interest. We only have uh, you know we have about 12, 12 slots, and uh, you know we look for people that that uh, that uh, are like epitomize what G tribe is all about. People are the just the uh, the, you know, the 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 dedication, the personality, the, the for the, the stuff that stands out to uh, to us that for what 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 a you know what a G driver is and the, the kind of community we want. Like as Angel said, you know we don't want everybody in the community. We want the best. And you know over over all this since even before a G tribe existed, I think that's that's what we've that's what we've done. We've we've got we got one of the best communities on the planet. Outstanding, outstanding, and of course, uh, the next person I want to introduce, is, who needs no introduction, is the head of this whole operation, the CEO, Angel Munoz. Angel, how you doing over there? I'm phenomenal, thank you, Jr. It's so exciting for me to be here in such a incredible day where we are selecting the winner of the Tesla, um, and I wanted to take this moment to also thank the sponsors that helped us with this giveaway and this promotion, including Logitech, which is uh, a company that's been by our side for so many years, and specifically uh, Brent Barry from Logitech that's been a believer uh, for so long, but also Seasonic, EKWB, NZXT, XFX, and of course, Steiger Dynamics. So these are companies that are not new to anyone that's listening to this podcast and to the stream because of the fact that um, they've been with us for such a long time and have been great supporters of our community. And I also wanted to take a moment. I actually, before uh, this podcast, I uh, went through and counted the number of DMs, the number of comments, the number of messages and emails. Uh, that I got with the recent passing of my wife, Karen. And I want to thank the community because there were over a thousand messages uh, from different members from all over the world. So thank you so much for that. Um, trust me, it, it helped me get through to uh, a bad situation. And I'm pleased to say that I'm feeling a lot better now and I'm ready to give this Tesla away today. So I hope we have some fun in the process. Well, definitely. I know that's a very difficult time in your life losing uh, a wife of, of that. So condolences once again and everybody in our prayers are with you, Angel. But as you said, um, it's good to have people here that support you, that, that know that they care for you and love you. And um, as we move on, let's talk about this Tesla a little bit and some of the things that are going on. Now, Angel, during our, our podcast, you were talking about some of the features and that Beacon has. And I know some folks are here to see about that Tesla, but I, let's take the opportunity to talk a little bit about Beacon, how it all came about, and some of the things in the direction and the vision that you have for it of being the most, well, as you said, as you said, it is probably the most secure and technically advanced audiovisual platform that exists. Uh, thank you, JF, for asking that. Um, you know, we... We're very much informed by our experience with e-gaming or video gaming 
uh, as most of the of of, of our um, viewers know, uh, I've been in the in in that industry for well over twenty years, and uh, and one of the things that I wanted to bring to an experience like this is the fact that when you are in a vir virtual environment playing a game, you kind of feel you're at the center of that universe. Uh, that is one of the most powerful experiences that you have as a gamer, is that you feel that 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 the outcome of things in, during that experience are are based on your actions and that things are happening for you. And when we uh, set out to develop Beacon a uh, little over six years ago, uh, that was the primary um, driver for us. Uh, Theodore and I are... Uh, we have we are strange individuals in the sense that we are both artists and engineer have the in mind of engineer but the heart of an artist, and we wanted the experience to be like nothing else out there, and that was a really I, I didn't realize how high <laughs> that goal was until we started in the development process, and it was so difficult to make Beacon look good, and then be also the safe safest and most private, um, you know, platform. Then on top of that, we wanted to bring a huge level of simplicity. And, you know, I think people are confused because they think we're like WhatsApp or anything like that, where you have to have the person join if you want to talk to them on Beacon. I see a lot of confusion on comments on that. And please let me dispel that now. The only person that has to have a Beacon account is the person that initiates the call. Otherwise, no one you can invite anyone into a Beacon call. It doesn't matter if they have it because Beacon works in a browser. There's You don't need to download anything if you don't want to. So uh, that was just, that's going to be the hardest thing to explain to people because they are so used to, you know, uh, the normal way of doing things. And then Beacon works on all platforms. Uh, that's one of the biggest. We, we're, we, I call I, I, I call Beacon platform agnostic, and in fact, I uh, I'm running Beacon right now on my television. So that's why I'm in a room that guys are not familiar with normally. The people that watch me uh, are not familiar with this room. I'm normally in my office, and uh, and obviously I'm in my family room here, and the kitchen is right behind me. So this is an entire uh, new experience for people to see me in this environment. So, um, and this is the power of Beacon, because if a device has a web browser, uh, we probably can work in that environment. So, so Absolutely. that's my answer to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Angel, it's good to see you in the, in the comfort of your own home. I mean, I say your family room is probably bigger than my first house. So kudos to you, sir. <laughs> Uh, as you look at it, and absolutely, Beacon is very easy to use. I mean, it's so easy, it's it's almost hard. I mean, it's confusing. So as I try to people, what do I need to download? What do I need to, no, you don't need that. Just, just do it this way. So to your point, it is a little confusing for some people because it is so easy. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you ought to come up with a motto. It's so easy a caveman can do it. No, that's already been used. Never mind. <laughs> that's it. But as far as coming up with ideas and marketing, Kimberly, you are the you are the uh, Chief Marketing Officer over there. What type of marketing are you doing uh, behind Beacon, and what can people expect to see in the near future? Well, uh, we've been mostly focused on the Tesla giveaway, as, as giveaway, that true. the Gaming Tribe member can attest to. Um, we have an exciting campaign that we've designed that we're going to be introducing pretty soon, um, and it's uh, – I'm not sure how far I want to go into this, Angel. Maybe you want to um, uh, nudge me here, but um, – Go for it. It's going to be, okay. It's going to be built heard around it here first, the, folks. okay. Uh, built around the um, how realistic the the visual is for Beacon, right? So we've we've all been pushed into this world of, of audio video communications, uh, reluctantly or or willingly, um, mostly because we've we've uh, experienced. Uh, the worldwide pandemic that if you wanted to continue to connect with people at work or family or friends, you needed to find some work around. And we all, we all wanted that. So we embraced whatever was available and whatever our friends were using without much, much uh, uh, um, research, right? We just picked whatever everyone else was using. Um, 
And we've gotten kind of used to it, but it's not anything. I've never heard anyone say they love speaking all day long on, on the Z word. Um, we can't say it. It's just, it's just how the it Z is word, around okay. here. Yes. Um, so when Beacon was developed and designed by Angel, one thing that I noticed, and the, uh, the Angel had pointed out to me, but over time I've spent a lot of time on Beacon, is that I didn't have that fatigue that I had at the end of the day. It really felt like whoever I was talking to or interacting with, it was almost like I was visiting them. You just mentioned how you can see that Angel's, the, the area he's sitting in is larger than, your, you, you joke, that larger than your first house. It wasn't you can a joke. see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you can see the depth, right? You can see, you get a, a very good idea of what is going on in that room. It's as, all, it's as though you're sitting there across the couch from him and visiting with him. But if you spend much time on Beacon, it's extremely, extremely realistic. You don't have, you don't have that same visual fatigue that you do after a day of, of talking on some other platforms. So to that end, we wanted to emphasize how realistic um, the experience is. And we're going to come out with an entire campaign. We've already developed and designed some of the artwork for that cam campaign in which um, the idea of you really being there is important. Maybe you can't be, you can't participate in an event for whatever reason, but the tagline around this entire campaign will be when real matters. And we're looking to emphasize those moments in life that, that you, you want to experience with a loved one, um, but for whatever reason, you are, you're unable to be there. And so those are the moments we want to capture. And so we're really excited about uh, the Win Real, Win Real Matters campaign. So um, I think, when real I think matters. that's going to that, that, that Win Real Matters. Catchy. Okay. Are you going to have merch on this? I mean, I, I want a shirt. I mean, <laughs> you can have merch, you know, put it on a cap. I can wear it on my pajamas, you know, Win Real you Matters. Know, that, yeah, exactly. Well, uh, you yeah. know. Uh, Hesitation. Okay, we'll, we we'll talk yeah, about we that off. About it. What I'm what I'm not sure you see is my man back there with the the beacon hat on. So yeah, merchandise and, and uh, I'm you know I've got the gaming tribe shirt on. So that's it's uh, we will be we will shamelessly plug what we need to for the for the good of the company. And, and that's your job, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I just want you to know that. Ladies and gentlemen uh, that are watching, I do not have a Beacon shirt or anything on because I ordered my Beacon pajamas, and they're coming in next week through Amazon. So I'll be able to just sleep in them every night, just live and dream, you know, Beacon. Beacon. That's beacon. right. I, I tell you, and, and I know I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, one of the things that um, I was talking with, with Angel, and he said, he actually put it on his Twitter page, says, referring to me as a host of the podcast where I was more, I seem more excited about the product than he did. And I, I don't think that's possible, but Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it's an excitement. I go, when are you going public? I want to, you know, I want to get some a piece of this, but uh, you guys have been doing some phenomenal work and angel, this started what you started this project about six years ago. Yeah, we started actually um, one of the phenomenal um, opportunities that we have that's unique to our company is the fact that we have so many people on the G Tribe platform and that they're all like, let's say, Alex, who is a gamer at heart and is a techie also at the same time. So um, they tend to be a bit more hypercritical about technology and a lot harder to convince. Mm -hmm. And I like that because it makes it, it we have to, but if we want to capture their hearts, we have to work harder to impress them. Um, the people who have given Beacon a chance, uh, that percentage of people that have tried it, have made a point of contacting us via email and DM and, and messaging on G Tribe or comments on some of our posts about how phenomenally impressed they are with the quality and uh, of the call. And the fact that then on top of that, we're private, it's just even added. So by knowing this community, JR, and knowing how they, how they react, we started Beacon uh, uh, really with something called GTV, Gaming Tribe Television. And it was Beacon really 1.0 or actually before 1.0 is Beacon 0 0.001. And we, um, Theodore and I did it because we wanted to, we were skeptical of the other platforms, quite frankly, and we wanted to talk with each other 
on a fairly consistent basis. And we wanted to feel that we were in the same room working with each other. And then, and then, um, and then that became, that became kind of an obsession for us. And then um, I would say about three years, maybe three and a half years ago, maybe even four, I can't remember exactly, maybe Theodore remember, we decided to rename the product Beacon and launch it as an independent company. In fact, Beacon is a, uh, is, a, is incorporated independently from G Tribe and from Mass Luminosity. It's just that it's a wholly owned subsidiary of, of Mass Luminosity. And, uh, and that, and, and the, really the community is the one that's formed uh, Beacon. They have been very proactive about uh, sending us recommendations and t- trying things and breaking Beacon uh, in the process. And I really appreciate that more than anything else. But it's been a project that on and off, it's been, well, not on and off, on six years in the making, yeah. Wow. And I know mm-hmm. we don't have time uh, today, but folks, if you're out there uh, and want to know more about Beacon, uh, the product, the the bells and whistles that it has, and how uh, Angel and his creative team here put it all together, uh, you can listen to the podcast. It's still up. Yeah, It's uh, our latest podcast out there on the Latino Business Report. You can go to latinobusinessreport.com. Was that shameless, Angel? I'm sorry. I had to plug it one more time. No, that's great. But, that's great. But I do want to thank you. That was a, a great podcast. I had... I had fun with it. The time went like that. And uh, I, for one, had got a lot of positive reviews. Not only did the numbers really shoot up, but a lot of people calling me and, and text me and said, hey, how can I how can I get on this? What's it cost? I go, man, there's the free version. Get the free version. And mm-hmm. uh, a lot of them are just totally surprised and excited. And, of course, some of my other business friends are going, when are we going to be able to buy stock on this? I go, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, um, so um, Kimberly and I have a financial background. We both were stockbrokers and investment bankers. So um, providing uh, opportunities for people to participate in the success of Beacon is definitely um, uh, something that we are pursuing and, and take very seriously. Um, this is a great time for Beacon because Beacon, uh, right now, um, is the only version that's available is Beacon X. Uh, that we have, we do have a small number of people that are testing, uh, the next iteration of Beacon, which is a level up and it's called Beacon Plus. And Be- and we have 600 people that are trying it and giving us feedback on it. And then, um, uh, and then Beacon Max comes after that. Now, we intended originally to launch uh, uh, Beacon um, Plus and Beacon Max uh, in March, in this month, but we decided not to because we really want to make sure that we communicate very clearly what the differences are between the three iterations of Beacon. And we do feel that the most bang for the buck will be at Beacon Max which not only will allow the largest amount of people to join, but will have lots of different things that I think will appeal to our core audience of gamers and technology enthusiasts. So um, we will, you know, in, in, the, in the month to come, during the month of April, uh, we will, um, you know, make sure that people understand that they, you can stay on Beacon X if you want to, and that's all you want, that's fine, the free version. But, you, you know, what do you get with Beacon Plus and what you're going to get with Beacon Max? And, uh, and Beacon Max is where I'm going to live, right? So, uh, and we have lots of people, including you, JR, that said, that's the one I want. Yeah, so definitely. I, I want Beacon Max. And so, so those are th- that's how it is. But right now, Beacon, Beacon X, which is the free version, is available. All you have to do is, if you want to, is create an account on Beacon. You not really don't have to download anything. And, and then start using it. And you don't need to have contacts. That's another mistake. It's like, right. you know, it's every other platform has really educated you co- incorrectly. Uh, the, we want to make the world easier. We don't want to make it complicated. So all you have to do is put somebody's email, uh, create, if you wanted to create to create a call, uh, a schedule a call, you can put someone's email there and Beacons emails them in the background. You don't even have to worry about it. And, and the email is actually pretty, too. What they get is actually a beautiful email. And then if you do add somebody to a contact, 
then you can direct call them. And if they happen to be on a mobile device, it looks like a phone call. It looks like you're getting a phone call, but it says Beacon Video Call on it. So we covered all. We already thought of the things to make your life easier. So don't complicate the Beacon. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it simple. So. Kiss theory, right? Just kiss theory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simple, Let's, not yeah. Let's not say it. Let's not say it. Okay. Okay. Keep it. Okay. Kiss theory. All right. We, Sorry. we had a. So I have a, a little announcement, and I have so somebody asked um, in chat. So the chat is going to go live in uh, in a minute or two. Uh, your page will refresh, and you will get chat uh, working. And Thank some people that already have it working uh, have asked if it's going to work, if Beacon is going to work in Tesla. Uh, it does. Uh, it already works. It requires your smartphone um, to act as a camera until we have a way to tap into the Tesla's camera. Uh, but um, once uh, before that, you can use your smartphone. You just join a beacon call with your smartphone, and if you're in Tesla, you can have the display work as your main display for the call. Let us continue before we give it away. Uh, Theodore, thank you very much. And just uh, Theodore, before we go, and folks, I got to tell you, this has been—I have been so fortunate to work with these people. I get to know them, even though they're the team, and I'm just kind of the the outsider coming in. This team is innovative, creative, and entrepreneurship like I've never seen before. And, Tito, I'm especially impressed. You started in high school, and to work with a team like this, I mean, this must be an excellent experience for you. I'm, I'm sure it's had its challenges, has it not? Right. Uh, so it certainly was. I started as a as an intern, so I, I didn't really have much experience um, in development um, of any project. So I, I started um, working on a system that was predecessor to to the predecessor to Beacon uh, that would connect uh, <laughs> people on G-Tribe um, just to each other. So just messaging system, but also um, to send out uh, updates from the sponsors to the members regarding the promotions that were going on. And then slowly and slowly started building the whole community platform, the G-Tribe, any features to it. And then eventually that grew to be was this big thing that had the entire video calling functionality that is that was worthy of a separate product, which now turned to be Beacon. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's it's been a journey. Enjoyed well, it very it. much. Congrats. Yeah, no, I I, I I agree with Theodore. Uh, um, you know, we've we've gone to, to places where you know our, the only limit was our own imagination. So. Uh, building a social media network at the time that there were so many and people were saying, why do I need another social media network? And now it's basically the same thing with Beacon. People are just telling us, well, you know, no one really wants another uh, video conferencing. And actually they do. They just don't want to admit it because Mm -hmm. the others are so bad. So, um, you know, there's such a terrible experience. So I, I would, I would appeal to the mentality of gamers on this uh you don't just play the same game for the rest of your entire life uh you try to find new games that are compelling and interesting to you um you know mm-hmm. do the same with technology you know this is not i'm not asking you to do something that you wouldn't naturally do anyway so give beacon uh, an opportunity because it has not only our mind it has our hearts into it also we put everything we have into this product So, and then these failures that you're seeing in these things, this is all part because we are actually uh, using two technologies here. And I'll let Theodore explain that. Um, I would say that that's an understatement. There are hundreds of technologies involved (laughs) in this, but um, the the principle is, uh, yes, so we are, um, so this is as encrypted as Beacon Calls are. So your stream is actually encrypted and no matter what you're watching, nobody uh, has any business seeing what you're seeing unless you wanted them to see it. Um, So the whole channel is encrypted here. Uh, All of the videos, even though this is a public stream, this could well be a private stream and uh, you could only have a limited audience and it would still be all encrypted from from sender to receiver all the way through. And um, yes, and then the other... Technology, of course, we're in a browser. There, there are no requirements to having an app installed. Um, and then keeping it up to date, and making sure that it's, you know, running in all the possible systems. We are deployed to billions of devices through Beacon, 
that has its own challenges because there are not just one, but three major browsers and each has their own quirks to deal with. And well, uh, that's why you have updates midstream that fix things just mm -hmm. like that. And, and you know, uh, uh, one update and it makes all the difference. It does. It does make a difference. The the quality and, is is clear. And then we we do have what what um, beyond the the that is the fact that this is a combination of two of our projects. Uh, one is Beacon, and the mm -hmm. other one is Beam. And Beam is uh, a project that we I don't think we're launching summer, so we probably have to move it to fall. But it's our follow-up project to Beacon, which is addressing some of the things that I've learned from Alex that he has shared with me about what the community does and what, what new products are out there and what people are, people are streaming and, and his frustrations himself as a streamer. And, 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 uh, and we, we tend to, to fix some of those things for our community and for people who want to have a better experience while they stream. So, so that's why that's why we're having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties in the process. We have basically two platforms working with each other. But we fix, uh, you know, it got fixed, and here we are. Uh, Alex, right. would you mind, is, or Alex or Tito, whoever, is there any questions in chat that that, we, that may be worth asking? And while we're doing that, Angel, you're much sharper. And may I say, sir, I can. You have a cat, don't you, Angel? <laughs> yeah, it's a little lint right there. Yeah, I got a little lint on your black shirt there. Um, but not much. I just noticed that. <laughs> I was ready this time, JR. <laughs> you were ready that time. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was so, uh, yeah, that, the, the, um, yeah, so uh, for those of you that are watching, you could see that my stream is just slightly higher than the rest as far as the resolution is concerned. We're doing that so that we can demonstrate um, the, um, you know, how Beacon actually uh, can stream. I'm, I'm not sure uh, that this is even close to uh, our full capability, uh, but when you are on a Beacon call and if you have the right camera and you have the right equipment, just like, like a game, again, think about it if you were playing a PC game, uh, you're not going to be able to go uh, get into the ultra settings unless you have, you know, a recent GPU, a great CPU, a nice computer, great connectivity. I mean, all these things are the same for for the Beacon experience. So it's not really any different from where you, where you are at. You just need to think of Beacon as an evolution of we. It, I think it's it the big concept here that I would want you to to walk away with is that for the first time, someone has taken some of the same principles of e-gaming and video gaming and translated mm -hmm. into a platform that is available to everyone. And that is really kind of the great thing. You should all support this because of that, yeah. because this is how gamers get to change the world. Wow. So. Now, Angel, I noticed, and we're about to do the giveaway here in just a little bit, but I just noticed just the clarity. Now, it depends on your connectivity and how, what kind of connection you have. I know that mm -hmm. uh, I, I hooked up to a, the Ethernet, and it just really, really has improved things. Now, I don't have Wi-Fi at home, so I always tap into my neighbors, and they kind of got a little suspicious <laughs> when I asked to see the router, and I got that 100-foot <laughs> Ethernet coming to my house, but it, it, is, it, is, it is crystal clear. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so we do have some recommendations. Uh, we should probably be a little bit more uh, clear, like we, you know, what the minimum requirements and what the best requirements are. What it, what do they call Alex? Uh, minimum requirements and what's the other one? And when you play a video game, anyway. Recommended. Re what's that? Recommended. Recommended. Exactly. Thank you. Recommended and the recommended settings and all that. And recommended would be instead of Wi-Fi to use Ethernet if you can. I recommend it would be to have uh, a, a newer computer rather than an old one. Recommend it would be to, if you're going to be on a mobile device to have a newer device rather than an older one, because we are using the CPU and the GPU of your devices to to make this experience uh, happen. So, um, but you, but bear in mind again that I'm on a television, so the requirements are not that incredible because you can see by the image. Now, of course, I have a Logitech Brio connected to the television. 
And so that makes it a lot easier, you know. So TVs now are just computers. So it's just, it's unbelievable. In fact, I have to say that this particular television actually has, it's a monitor with a box behind it. So that sits angular to the, to the unit. So that is so computer-like <laughs> that it's just unbelievable. Yeah. So anyway, that's where we're heading. So I think that we're right at the right spot at the right time in the market. So I, I'm very excited about all the opportunities we'll have. And thank you again for all the 600,000 people that have joined the Beacon Experience. And there are a couple of technical questions in the chat. Uh, so the, the first one is, uh, is Beacon private or corporate? And the answer is it's both. Uh, you can use it to talk to your family and you can also talk to colleagues and have businesses work through Beacon. You can talk to your team or you can set up a... And another question also mentioned the enterprise plan. So there it will be an enterprise plan that allow you to basically onboard your entire company onto Beacon and have all kinds of company tools focused on communications within the company? That is uh, great questions. In fact, let me uh, take this opportunity, uh, Angel, if you don't mind, maybe later on through the organization I work with, uh, TAMAC, uh, the Texas Association of Mexican-American Chambers of Commerce, to begin to have you as a guest on a webinar and just really promote that webinar to talk about these questions, at least from the business aspect of how businesses and corporations can actually utilize this platform and the fact that it is very inexpensive, uh, especially mm -hmm. when you get the advanced version, and the fact that it is encrypted. I mean, can, I can see from end to end that really has a lot of advantages, along with the other qualities of being right there across the room from somebody. Is In the business world, as things are changing quickly, it seems like people are getting a little complacent and don't want to go out and get dressed to go meet someone. It's just easier to, to uh, you know, throw on a shirt and a coat like I am with blue jeans and flip-flops on the bottom and go, okay, let's let's go ahead and meet. So, we're going to mm -hmm. do that. And um, Angel, got anything else you want to add before we actually get the drum roll and get a, have a giveaway? Oh, the sound. Can you tell us about that sound that you freaked me out with that one time we were talking? <laughs> yeah, binaural audio. That actually was Theodore's idea to use binaural audio. instead. So um, surround sound has different levels of, of um, accuracy, I would say. So... I was fortunate enough that when I early in my investment banking career, I partnered with a Canadian company called QSound. They were the first ones to um, to create surround sound. They actually started with the Immaculate uh, Conception. Conception was that the title of Madonna's album? To, um, I can't remember the Immaculate I, whatever it was. I, I think that was an event that occurred before Madonna. But yeah, yeah, yeah but she she had an album. <laughs> <laughs> the album was 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 recorded with Q Sound, uh, and uh, I, I guess some of her tracks were recorded with Q Sound. And I, the first time I put headsets and listened to it, and this is a long time ago, I, I was blown away. I was completely blown away. So that was, um, you know, kind of the start for me in the recognition of surround sound as part of enhancing the experience. Uh, the, the sound that you're saying that freaked you out, that's the more advanced version, and that's called binaural audio. And binaural audio is just is a study of how humans perceive sound. Uh, there are certain factors that uh, are unique to human beings when it comes to sound, and we tend to modulate sounds in a particular way. We certainly do not hear the same way as any other animal. Uh, we have a very precise way of listening to things. And, and that's what binaural audio tries to do. And, it, and, and with that, uh, it brings more of a tactile experience. So you feel like a little bit of synesthesia, which is the crossing of two senses. And, and so in the case of JR, I played a prank on him and I made the sound of a knocking door. And he was, you could tell by his face, he was completely distressed because- yeah, From behind me where there was no door, it was a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and then when he was, and, and before he can actually process that, I moved the sound to the opposite side. And then he was, and then I couldn't. I, I, I'm sorry, Jay. I ruined the joke because I started laughing, and you said, "Don't tell me you just did that." Yeah, man, and, you're and messing so with that, my head, dude. You're messing with my head. That <laughs> office is known to have little ghosts in, it, and I thought, man, they're 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 showing they're up. They're guys. Yeah, so it's like culture guys. So yeah, no, it, 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 and it, it, we will be able to use these sounds in a more 
uh, precise way. You can use it for music. You can use it for uh, for entertainment purposes. You can use it in games. So these are all things that we want to explore in the future of Beacon. Outstanding. So, so there's, yes. a, a, there's a, definitely a future. Alex, so, go ahead. Go ahead so, Alex. so someone someone was asking about the focus of Beacon being like isn't isn't Beacon more business focused while Discord is more for gamer focus? Well, I with either or you can you can make it whatever you whatever you want it to be, but in in reality, when you compare the two platforms, Beacon actually makes it easier for you to connect with your with your gamer friends. You you wanna you wanna get a get onto voice chat? You you have a you create a room in Beacon. You just all you do is just send a link to to your friends. One click, boom, they're there. They don't have to go sign up. They don't have to join this. They don't have to join and do all go through all this other stuff to to get into a voice chat. They just mm -hmm. click that link, boom, they're there. You have your session. If it's not a persistent one, you just you can blow up the room and create mm -hmm. another one for next time with with other people you game with or have a permanent one that you and your friends always use alex i think that that that's an interesting question um i i would i would whoever asked that question i i would uh say thank you for asking that and, and that's a fair point because you know discord basically based completely exclusively on gaming and they work with inside the games and that's a whole you know business angle there but I, I, we're not business uh, oriented. We're people oriented. We're experience oriented. Don't don't think of us as a business solution because we don't think of ourselves as a business solution. Uh, we think ourselves as a sharing solution for people. We want to enhance communication. We want to augment it. We want to defragment uh, communication. Those are our goals. We're you have to understand that everything that we do has a reason we have particular goals and we have we're we're very um purpose driven uh company so so that's really kind of the way to think of us think of us as a people-centered experience just like i was saying in a video game it, you know the whole experience is about you is about you having an experience so anyway Absolutely. we're getting to the top of the hour jr let's so get it let's, the, let's get this let's get this thing done and as alex said and and you angel that this, this platform is made for people and how you choose to use it, whether it be for entertainment, family, business, it is an excellent platform and out does anything out there. So I with that it. said, are we ready? I'm going to put on my glasses. Going to have to read this and show my age. All right. Um, okay. The moment has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. So, I, I, we... I, so the way okay. that we're going to... You, how are you going to pull it? So, JR, the way we're going to do this is the moment that you tell me I'm going to hit a button... It's going to randomize all the people that are eligible, which is quite now a large number. And then uh, one winner will be selected. We have no preference. Uh, we don't have any preference whatsoever of country, region, whatever. Uh, wherever a Tesla can be delivered by Tesla, that's those are all eligible places. So, so, uh, so we will um, we will do this when you tell me. All right. So a global contest. Random, doesn't matter, and where the test is going to land. All righty, let's go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. The moment has arrived. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Theodore. Theodore, drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, and the winner of the 2022 Tesla, given away by Beacon, is... Dale Scoville. Dale wow, Scoville. Congratulations, Dale. Let's hear it. So, uh, so we're not responsible for heart attacks. So if this person is that one. <laughs> so I, I can see that Dell is a G driver. So he just, oh, yep, he just posted a G drive. Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. So is, he, is he on chat? Is he on chat, Alex? Dale, where are you from? Um, he has to be. He's watching, obviously. Mm hmm. Dell, if you're still with us, try to uh, try to get in on the chat. <laughs> hasn't said anything yet. Well, he's typing on G Tribe, and people are already congratulating him. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Dale, if you're uh, on, um, congratulations. Um, yeah, on at least this. we know he didn't pass out. So, so here's the process for everyone. Um, we will 
Uh, my assistant Jay will reach out to uh, Dell uh, in the early days of the week. Uh, make sure that all his information is correct and verifiable. And then once we do that, we will announce that he's been verified as the winner. And then you and I will chat because there's lots, there's a process that we would start. Unfortunately, I have to say that that I just read this morning that uh, there's a wait list for now for uh, for Teslas because I guess people are buying lots of Teslas because of the price of gasoline and the and the fears. But we will uh, once the process starts, you you know, Tesla will keep you informed of the whole entire process. So uh, uh, it happens that on this call we have three Tesla drivers: uh, Kimberly Visuraga. Alex Anderson and myself all drive Teslas and we went through the same process. So we all had to wait. <laughs> so uh, Teslas are not something you go and you pick up at a, at a dealer. So congratulations and thank you everyone for joining uh, yeah. this incredible yeah. giveaway. Thank you yeah. for joining us. And yeah. Angel, congratulations get, again. Mm -hmm. I just want to congratulate the entire team. Angel, you have an excellent team that you're working with your innovation, your creativity and the giveaway. Brilliant. The Tesla has landed. And uh, I look forward to seeing the winner of well, where exactly he is and maybe getting some comments from him a little bit later on. But uh, Angel, any closing words before we sign up? Yes, on? of course. I wanted to let everyone know before you hang up real quickly is that we do we are planning our next promotion. And we're hoping that it's even bigger than this one. So stand wow. by for details. Bigger than this one. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Ladies and thank you. Go out there. Have a great uh, rest of your day. Thank you for joining us. And remember, Beacon is out there. It's easy to use and easy to share. Don't make it difficult. Have a great <laughs> Thank day. you, JR. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>